Okay, I'm going to do a swing evaluation here with Brooks Kepka and uh, just show you a few things that he's doing with his driver here. The picture on the right looks like he is trying to hit a draw. And the picture on the left looks like he's trying to play a little bit of a fade. But you'll see as I continue on here, he's not really altering his swing so much, but just allowing his setup to take a lot of this work into place. So first thing we notice, he's a little bit in a close stance here on the right probably for the draw and then over here he's in a touch of an open stance to help hit him a little bit of a fade and by doing that it's going to help the club swing on the plane that he needs another thing that I notice is on the picture on the right because the way he's set up you can see a little bit of his left arm over here on the left the left arm is definitely covered up and that means that his shoulders are probably just a slight open here these look pretty square to maybe just a touch close so again those are going to help him get the ball flight that he needs on these shots so let me just draw a little swing plane here up this is another thing I noticed between these two swings was on the right for the draw you can see when his hands get about hip high <clears throat> about right there on his belt line and about right here on his belt line you can tell that this club's a little bit more uh, let me get the about right there about that far from his arm right here you can see that it's a little bit further away so he's kind of coming a little steeper here for the fade a little bit more around the swing plane for the draw but you know both of his uh, on both pictures you can definitely see the club is outside of his hands that's just how he takes the club back Club face is in really good angles here on both of them. You know, pretty aligned with his spine. So he's not really trying to manipulate the face too much, but just getting the club working on the plane he wants. Go ahead and take him to the top. You know, one thing with Brooks is, if you notice his wrist angle, he's in a little bit of a bowed angle here. That can really help square up the face at impact. Same thing here. You'll see the, the wrist is a little bit bowed in the left hand. And that gets his club face a touch close to the line. You know, his face is kind of pointing more this direction than it is in line with his lead arm here. Um, arm actions look pretty similar. Knee actions look pretty similar. Now we'll go ahead and just swing him down and through. You know, the shaft angle at this moment is really good. It's about dead parallel to where he started. That was 47 we take him back here right 45 46 so it's really close to where he's coming in on he's getting a real you know kind of back to neutral even though the swing plane going back again low 40s but we kind of look at the shaft angle there you know it's definitely steeper so doing a little bit of rerouting from this moment to where that's pretty much dead perfect to the original swing plane he was on so I'm just going to swing him all the way through here and show you something I noticed at this moment. Uh, let's get him matched up here. So you can see this club shaft's releasing pretty good and he the face is pretty square to the line. It might be a touch shut and that's just where he plays with a little bit of a bowed wrist which is going to shut the face down just a touch. But this guy's an excellent player and I wouldn't question anything he's trying to do just pointing out some differences in these two swings now here you can see let me show you here All right this shaft angle because he's trying to play a fade gets to about 73 degrees get the hands in about the similar position draw that line you know see we're in the low 60s it's because the club is now working a little bit more around him this one he's holding off the club a little bit just to uh, make sure the face doesn't shut down too quickly for the fade and he wants to make sure the club releases at a good rate for the draw so yeah I thought these were two good examples of uh, you know someone using basically the same swing but taking some setup adjustments a few minor tweaks throughout the swing to get two different ball flights so um, yeah that's Brooks Kepka, and y'all have a good day now thank you